on the first tumbler turning video that I did, I was turning these right here, large siler tumblers. Uh, they go in a flintlock lock uh, that goes on a flintlock rifle. And this is a tumbler as cast. Uh, you can see where I've ground the sprue off. And there are several operations that are needed to make this a working tumbler. And um, those include uh, facing off the top here, uh, drilling a hole for the hammer screw. Uh, that hole needs to be drilled uh, to, to the tap size and then it needs to be countersunk for the tiny portion of the hammer screw that doesn't have threads on it. Uh, each of the axles needs to be turned down to size as as cast obviously they're oversized they need to be turned down to the right size which uh, is 11 well we 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 ream the the holes for these axles to 11 64ths and 5 sixteenths and so uh, these need to be turned just a thousandth under those sizes in order to work properly and then <clears throat> um, <clears throat> on the large side uh, you need an 832 thread for the hammer screw and then you have to turn you can see in there there's a little dimple uh, you have, I'm sorry not turn you have to drill for the fly which is uh, a little mechanism that helps the tumbler ride over the sear nose uh, when, when, that, uh, when that operation is needed so uh, that's a a rough cast tumbler. Here are a few turn tumblers. The uh, the CNC, the Omni Turn CNC machine, is doing a, a wonderful job. Um, the small axle, well, both axles are exactly one thou undersized, uh, which is exactly what we want. The finish is spectacular. Uh, large axle, you can see the bearing surfaces have been touched there and we have uh, our 832 uh, sized hole uh, it still needs to be uh, it still needs to be threaded I'm not doing that on the lathe yet uh, I'm going to the, the tool to do that is about uh, the kitty cat's trying to say hi here <clears throat> um, the tool to uh, tap these the, the, the tool that I want to get anyways is about four hundred dollars so, uh, um, you know, maybe in the next month or so here, I'll go ahead and, and purchase that. You can see the counter bore, uh, size number 19 for the unthreaded uh, portion of the uh, hammer screw. And of course, the, the square uh, has been faced off to the correct length. And it's nice and clean, everything is centered, and they've really just come out beautiful. So uh, proof of concept with the, with the um, high-speed steel tools in the first video has led to uh, turning with all uh, carbide tools at 2,000 RPMs. Uh, put the finish pass on the axles at a half thou per revolution, um, and it just, it just really gives a nice finish. Cycle start. Finish pass. And done. Gets like 22 seconds or something like that. Always a bit tight on the other side. I don't have the perfect collet size. And they're coming in exactly 0.171, which is where I want them. They are beautiful. I was getting in the way. This uh, now that I'm using all these tools on the back here, uh, the front of the slide is coming out so far that it's hitting my tripod. So I'm going to try holding this by hand, and we'll go through the full turning of one tumbler 
I'm not going to try to oil anything. Uh, hopefully I don't wear my tools too bad. <laughs> Anyhow, um, yeah, I'm not going to do any oiling. And you'll see we'll come in, we'll face, and then we'll rough turn, then we'll finish turn, then we'll do a, um, a center drill, a one eighth drill to depth, then we'll do a tap drill to depth, and then we'll come in and we'll countersink with a number 19 uh, to just relieve the top of the hole where there is no threads uh, at the end of the screw. So here we go. Cycle so start. <laughs> Base. Rough turn the OD. Come in the finish turn at a half foul per rev. Nice fine finish. I'm gonna come in and center drill. One eighth drill to a half inch deep. Drill. Could use a little oil, huh? A little squeaky. Number 19, just to put a little bit of a countersink there. And that's uh, one tumbler ready to be threaded. And uh, it's hitting the, the perfect size every time. Trying to get this to focus here. The, the finish is just beautiful on these and it's holding a, an incredible tolerance. So I'm very, very happy with that. Shooting for one thou under reamed size. The reamed size is 5 16 at uh, 312 and a half. And uh, the, the old Omni turn here is cutting them dead on one thou under. That gives us a half thou clearance per side once the tumbler is installed. Okay, now we're over at the drill press, and I'm going to go ahead and put 832 threads into the large axle of the tumbler. We're set up with the reversing tapping head and the drill press here, and uh, we really don't need to go that deep in order to accommodate the uh, the hammer screw. And uh, this this particular batch of tumblers is tapping very nicely. So, uh, without further ado... And that's it. Tap. See if I can get you to focus here. So at the very tippy top of the hammer screw, pretty little hammer screw, the, the threading tool can't quite make it to the very tip, to the, to the head. So there's a small unthreaded portion. That's what the countersink is there for. Um, but uh, once you get them done on the tapping head, They'll sit down nice and flush, nice and centered, and everything's good. On the first, uh, on the first tumbler turning video that I did, I was turning large Siler tumbler tumblers. <laughs> On the first tumbler turning, that's a tongue twister. On the first tumbler twisting, <laughs> on the first tumbler twisting, turning, tuning, tuna fish, running of the small axle on the siler tumbler. Well, let's get one that has a large axle we can actually get in there.